Okay, it's been a week. This pile is still from the farm cleanup. So clearly I am losing the battle with tin shred as much as I would like to win it. So it's a, instead of waiting for another week that I might lose again, I'm gonna I'm gonna just have to start uh, dumping dumping shred on, <coughs> on the weekends here. So anyway, it's a bit disappointing, but what are you gonna do, eh? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go through these bins. <coughs> Easiest way is just go to the scrapyard with it. Uh, pull up like the boys do, and uh, just uh, <coughs> just sort it right there. Pull out anything, you know brass valves, anything like that that needs processing. Wires, just do a just do a quick kind of a strip there. And, uh, try to tame the yard here. Get it back into uh, back into conformity. And I can relax a little more. Losing the battle with tin shred. All right. Here's another one. There. Just got to dump, dump, and dump. Maybe I try to keep the HMS. Probably skip dirty aluminum too. Unfortunately, this is all then. All right, I'll bring this on the weekend. It's a good time because uh, I got a guy there who fixes <clears throat> fixes these. It'd be nice to get him a chance to fix those, or probably they they even run. Oh yeah, this thing here. The echo. All right, so the parents are moving. End of the month here. It's an in-town move. Um, it's kind of a, a move into uh, my sister's condo, which is being rented. This is kind of a way to get the long-term tenant out. So they got to live there for a year, is the rule. And uh, so to make that happen. So we're just uh, getting rid of the last stuff here. So yeah, I'm going to head down to... Uh, Scrap beard, like I say, yeah, I'll probably pull some aluminum wheels out and do a few things like that just for fun. So, but get rid of the shred. The yard's just too full. Winter's coming here. I gotta clean up. Is uh, throwing out any scrap metal? Uh, it's kind of gone already. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, I just saw you throw in that uh, metal chair there. Because yeah. I, I do scrap, I take things to scrap. Like, I could take those metal chairs there and save you a bit of room. It's up to you guys. So, you just throw it out. Up to you. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, it just saves you some space. Saves you some space, right? Yeah. 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 Exactly. I might make a couple bucks, or if not, then it gets recycled. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So anyway, it's all good. Because I know it's a limited. You got lim only limited size in this bin, and you probably got a lot of junk to go in there. There we go. Okay. Thanks so much, guys. No, no. I mean, my parents live over there. I was just heading to scrap metal. Okay. So I thought I just, I just saw you literally throw a metal chair in there. Should I pull in and we'll check for a few Let's minutes do, here? You got, they do I got it. Where you going? I'll do batteries. Let me pull in. I'll see what you got. Yeah. 
Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, brother. You're not throwing out that jack all, are you? Jack's going. Oh, there. sure, sure. That's you a good. That's a good device. Jack. What do you got there? Just lead. Yeah. That is. Uh, well, oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know that should. I mean, I don't really have a use for that. I should probably go to the RCMP to be honest, or the gun club or something. You guys know best, right? You got, you got some, bu you got some buddies who are uh, into that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I got my license, I could take them, but then I just got a bunch of things that I'm not going to use, right? Yes, you know how it is, right? Exactly. That's, <laughs> That's why you're getting rid of Yeah, exists. yeah, because you got a bunch of, and you're like, I got rid of that gun, I don't have it anymore. And <laughs> you're like, oh, I don't have that anymore, so. Anyway, it's all good. Man. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, a lot of good tools there. You're keeping those, keeping those. Oh, look at that. You guys did some body work there. I recognize that. A good body. I first time I got one of those, I couldn't figure out what it was. I was like, what the heck is that? That's what I thought it was a really weird looking sander until he reminded me. No, okay. So the TVs, you pretty much, if you're keeping, I mean, it goes to the battery doctor is the only place that takes those. The old oh, wait, those were, those were They're going to keep that? Okay. Well, that might be it then. I think you guys kind of got, it just, you know, it got rid of a lot of bulk for a bin this size. It just opened up some space for you guys. You yeah, might, no, you might it. need so it. So make a couple bucks there yeah, for exactly. Good. Okay. You guys have a great day then. Thanks. Day. All right. Cheers. Okay. We are here at the scrapyard. So my goal is to leave <laughs> with much less stuff. Ooh. Then, uh, than what I came with, but we'll see if I can. If I can pull that off. But before I start unloading, I guess I should have a look around. And, uh, like, look at that nice big aluminum block. Oh. Kind of hood is that? I'm trying to. <laughs> okay, it's steel, good. You know, uh, metal collecting is. Uh, I don't think it's just the the amount of lead in your blood. I think it does. Uh, you know, like I wasn't coming here to collect aluminum, but they're not going to make any money with this. So maybe I'll take those back. Then everyone can make a couple more bucks. Uh, thing here. What do we have? Oh, look at that, a miela. That is an expensive vacuum man. Holy crap. But anyway, I think people only buy, buy their Dysons nowadays, so. My wire bin is, uh, it's beyond max capacity right now, but anyway, we'll see what, see what we take home here. Gold, there's another alloy, wheel ah, there. This is probably stainless. Let's find out. That is probably stainless. And All right, good. Good, there's not too much for me to grab which is a great relief because I don't want to grab anything but uh, so we're not saving much today I am just I want to go home empty we're gonna cut some cut some cords off and uh, that is the the easiest quick money. I mean, this is a nice chunk of aluminum, but no, we're just. We're gonna do easy brass, easy copper. 
Easy aluminum. And that's that today. These brass ends on the way. No, screw it. No, not today. Not today. Empty and go. Empty and go. Don't have any screws right now. Garage is full. Oh, some aluminum. That's the new garbage here. Ooh. Ooh, son of a bitch. I realize that. What's a uh, racing wheelchair, I guess, is what someone tells me. Oh, I forgot these were so heavy here. Oh, oh, these are heavy, man. So, uh, I might go in the, the Cruiser Mac uh, axe head pile. Can have a look at it for next time. Mm. Ah. The things that I like doing in winter, brass. I like doing brass. That is just fun. Fun, fun, fun. Taking apart brass. That's my jam. All right. So anyway, between the couple batteries there, I mean, that pickup was more about meeting the people and just having a quick little visit, but I'm gonna leave this here. Someone may want all the screws, lots of aluminum on here, but we're not gonna get involved. Okay, my buddy wanted this light here for a thing. Brass. It's a nice little LED clip-on light. We got Santa here. Like that there. I might try to sell, uh, I've got probably six of these jackals now. They always work, they just need lube usually when they're, when they're buggered up. All right, we're gonna get rid of these here. That's... Yeah, I mean, look, if I can sell this jack all for 20 bucks, it looks like it's probably in good shape here. Look at that. Goes up, and then down. Oh, I think it's got to have pressure on it anyway. But yeah, it works good. So if I can sell this 25, 30 bucks, that's more worth more than half a ton of tin. So right now, for my time and space and sanity, that's what I'm going to do. My buddy wants to refinish this here. Oh, i got to drop off that water for my friend's cat. She likes the uh, the water from my mobile. She, well, I was looking after that cat for a year. And the water where I live is really good. It's just amazingly good. And so she won't drink the, her tap water, the cat. But the cat loves my tap water. Or only certain brands of smart water. And, a few things, so anyway. Even mind my own business, but this guy's pulling in now, so I'm gonna have to see what he's got. <laughs> I don't want to, but I have to. <laughs> no one else is here to look at it, so some guy broke open uh, this cast iron here, and uh, these are the lead collars that are in these these casters. Also, usually brass, I think. 
So we probably left these, but since uh, since I'm doing batteries, I might as well throw these in with the batteries. I mean, you know, I should be doing the aluminum and everything. Anyway, that pickup was for Phil because I knew he'd like it if I stopped and hit up those people. But uh, I'm not saving any of that. Those are bouncing. I think they're bouncing like they're aluminum. Let's go have a look here in a second. Right, let's see if I was on point here. Nope, they were steel. Okay, perfect. That's what I like to see. Good, let's get the heck out of here. <sighs> How she goes? Pretty good, pretty good. They're a bit ugly, but they're 10 bucks. What do you want, eh? <laughs> Cheers. Thanks, man. Thanks. All right. So yeah, I mean, 10 pounds is, that's uh, 500 pounds, or $10 is 500 pounds of shred, is what I'd have to do in steel, so. I mean, I gotta be smart, but you know, I like bringing in scrap. That's kind of a, it's a mental health problem I have. Oh, look, Cruiser, some nice chunks of brass kicking around here. I'll have to go deal with those later. Really what I wanna do is stay in my shed and just clean up brass and, Ah, it's just, it's, uh, it's very satisfying getting little nuggets of brass. It's, it's one, of my, uh, one of my favorite things, so. All right. We're just going for the easy money here. Some wires. Ah! Always my favorite. They seem to add up fast. There. They're everywhere. Tour of my back seat. On top we have a dumpster hook. We got a small shovel up here, WD-40 and a bit of a heavier grease. We got an axe. Over here we got all our protection equipment, hearing, glasses, uh, lights for working in dark spaces. Uh, two different electrical tools to test if there's power, power multimeter. Uh, we got pruning saws there for doing yard waste jobs, cutting shit down to size. We got a uh, regular hammer, frost bar, heavy frost bar there, sledgehammer, socket set, uh, general drill set with different bits, um, uh, drill and uh, light impact. It's a bit of junk here. Um, uh, there's our black bags. I gotta top that up. It's running a little bit low. Some scales for weighing things. We got pipe wrenches down here, a bit of rope, diesel fuel conditioner, general purpose tool kit, uh, tire plug kit, uh, extra ratchet straps, uh, FedEx Express door magnets. We got a uh, small shovel. There's my good quality uh, straps uh, for visibility. Uh, extension cord. Uh, this shouldn't be here. Uh, extension cord and uh, a s uh, skill saw. There should be a sawzall in here. There it is, sawzall tarps down there. Uh, we got a mattress bag. We got blankets for covering stairs. We got a dolly. We got uh, three sets of uh, loppers for doing yard waste. Uh, clear bags for doing um, uh, cans and bottles. Underneath we got drills and a few other tools, uh, air pump. So yeah, there's our uh, uh, grabber tool. And then on the door we have uh, bags. This is mostly just for shopping on the way home. Bug spray for getting rid of wasps, window cleaner, uh, a few other chemicals in there. And, uh, oops, push that in a bit. So that, you know, I could, I could get rid of some of those things, but honestly, at some one point or another, I've needed them all. I got rid of them, and then you need them again. So it's, uh, those are essential tools for the back seat. And yeah, there's a, uh, a drill. We got uh, booster cables, and I think there's a, oh yeah, a toe, toe strap in here. There's a couple more things, but. And then under here, jack. And there's 
actually some uh, heavy the best guy he's just the best guy he's the best the best dad the best guy yeah he's the best guy the best the best guy the best scrapyard kitty That's all I got. Oh, you got a ton of gravel up here already. So this is John's property up the mountain here. Kind of uh, shoot lakes over there. So oh, then, yeah. looks so good. I'm 166 wide here. I'm wrecking your shit, bro. Okay, good. Now come, uh, yeah, I angle a bit more right there. Come, keep coming. Cut a bit more, yeah. Right there, keep coming. Straighten up, right away, straighten up, straighten up. No, okay, too far the other way now. Just a, you're, you just need to move your ass this way about like half an inch. I can almost shake it in, but I'm not gonna. So, okay, wheels to the right, wheels to the right, okay, good, okay, stop, now come straight back, straight, yeah, straight, there you go, come, straight, yeah, straight, uh, nope, nope, um, no, go forward a bit, and then cut your wheel, go straight ahead, and then cut your wheels to the left, just the tear. A little more forward. Okay, cut your wheels to the left just a bit right there. Good, now come back, come back, come back. 
Yeah, leave your wheels to the left a bit. And then, yeah, a little bit less, a little bit less. A little to the right a bit, to the right, yeah. Okay, okay, straight back. Straighten up. Straighten up, keep coming. No, crank to the left, crank to the left. Okay, keep coming. Not quite, yes. Little pump. No, yeah, keep coming. There it is, straighten up. Straighten up, straighten up, straighten up. Straighten up. You're in. That's it. You're 100% in. So how do we... Oh. Hey Malcolm, how's it going? Nice pumpkin, buddy! <laughs> yeah, he's over in here, shoot like... Oh, nice. shoot like... Uh, yeah, I brought a couple acres up there, gonna keep nice. going. Right on. Well, hey, take care. Happy <laughs> Halloween. <laughs>